Hey everyone, it's me again. Welcome back. Um, this is part two of my um, coin pocket envelope uh, case study, <laughs> as the case may be. Um, it is my trial and error. Um, I'm looking for my other one. My trial and error on making my own coin envelopes in different shapes and sizes and materials. So um, I had to turn off the um, video, the last video on this, or my first video on this, I should say. And I wanted to play a little more. Um, then I need to hustle on out of here. So um, very quickly, I put together two uh, larger size book pages, and I don't have any more up here of that size. Um, here. They were this size. Uh, they're dictionary pages. I sort of glued it in the middle here and glued a little bit on each end to keep it together. I did the cutting out like I showed in the previous video and um, I am decided to give sewing a try. I haven't really fallen in love with sewing uh, journal ephemera and stuff like that. Um, it, it bunched up on the corner here so that flap is going to go under. <laughs> Um, even if it didn't, I could put it on top and that could go up over the top because um, this flap goes on the outside any hoops. So I just, I kind of like this plain edging there. Um, so yeah, so we're going to start gluing. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Um, gee, it's hard to see the, the newsprint and the black. Oh, come on, glue. The newsprint and the, um, the black printing black thread newsprint print on the page <laughs> good gracious I have too much on my brain right now the print on the page oh for heaven's sakes really come on glue you can do it thank you hard to see the print on the page and the um, black thread combined no matter how much light I have. Darn cataracts. Sure make life interesting. Okay. This one has quite a big overlap, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Just got to make sure that you do both edges um, because you want nothing to catch if you're putting it in it, you know, when you're putting stuff in or taking it out of the envelope. You don't want anything to catch. Otherwise, it doesn't make for a very good ephemera, in my case, in my opinion, for whatever that's worth. Okay. I always think this little mark is um, a hair, and it's not. It's ink. But I do the same thing every time. I try to get it off. Okay. So, I didn't make my flap very big, and I've measured these. And there's going to be overlap, and I don't want overlap. So I am going to, I think I want to make out of this um, cream colored cardstock, I'm just going to make smaller ones. Whee! I know there's a cover on there for a reason, but then I gotta open the cover and empty them all out and they get stuck in there and I can't see what I'm cutting the next one size wise. So, so I'm just going to, again, even though this is cardstock, I'm going to glue two together, two discs together. And um, I think I'm going to upload these as two separate videos. So, because they'll just go faster that way and I don't want to take the time to splice and dice on my laptop because it takes time to download then it takes time to splice and dice and then it takes time to to upload and I, I don't have that time too busy got more interesting things to do okay so that's one two so I'm not going to have any contrasting um, you know color behind this you could ink it um which maybe maybe that's what i'll do it's so small i'll get more ink on my hands than i will on the disc but 
I could have inked it in black and outlined it to kind of match the <laughs> gotta find the double one match the um, thread and the print but you know not gonna do that there you go shell I don't think you're subscribed but thank you for my my dauber I absolutely love it um, I will link that below it's it's in uh, two videos ago I think I have the link all right ink side up I'm going to focus my trifocals get it close enough to my nose so I can see oh that was quite the punch okay I'm going to use they're gonna be kind of big on these small discs I'm gonna use one of the things I'm gonna to do today is go shopping for more brands because <laughs> now I have a reason to buy them okay that looks good I like that I'll show you in just a second Oh, goodness gracious. Again, can't see. Okay. Spread the little, but don't pull it too tight. Glue. That's the double one. Don't want to glue that one. That's the bottom one. And I'm going to cover. Glue this and cover the brad. Oof. can't press it flat that way because the bread is in the way and again I'm not fussing that it's not totally 100% centered that's just the story of my life <laughs> so this has to go down at least right there okay and I can't use that I have to use this try and get the center Oh, it's a lot to get through. There's like four pages plus some glue in there. Oh, and I think that's right on the threads on the part I sewed behind it. So we're going to stick this brad in there. And now there are some people I've seen who've made just a flat envelope. They don't fold it over. So they don't have to reach down inside and do this from the outside. Again, not very centered, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Again, I don't worry about it. It's handmade. Uh, it's like knitting. Ooh, I don't, I don't, oh, goodness. I don't worry that my knitting is not perfect or my crochet or my weaving. I'm, I'm not about making it look machine made. If I want a machine made, I'd buy online. Buy it from a company that makes them. I, I wouldn't fuss with making it by hand. And I like fussing and making it by hand. That's the whole point. And I'm also just being me. I tell other people, just be you, do you. It helps if you get it over the brad prongs, <laughs> Martha. Just do you, be you. And, you know, I've struggled with that my entire life. Being me, being true to myself, and I'm over it. I'm going to be 63 this month, and I think I've earned the right to be me and be who I am and be the way I am and not try and keep changing that. I just It just doesn't work for me. Okay, I think that's safely, safely on and covering the brad. Hopefully not too tight. It's a little tight. Okay, and crochet thread. It doesn't have to be very long, probably longer than I need. And I'm going to tie my surgeon's knot. So, <laughs> ah, put the end through once and put the end through again. You're, you're just putting it through twice instead of once. Okay, and pull firmly, but not too tight. Cut the end off. Could have cut it shorter than that. And then there you have it. Another fun, 
coin envelope made out of book page. So another use for book pages. So there's that. And I want to make one more. I, I want to try... I want to try... Uh, better cover the glue. Or I'll be fighting with it again. Probably already too late. Um, I have this paper. These paper! And I think... It's um, 12 by 12, so I'm going to cut it in half. I'm sorry if I jiggled the camera. I, I hit it by accident. Okay, there's the 6-inch mark. All right. And I'm probably going to need that again. You know, I just put it down. That fell. Now, I think... I think if I cut that in half, it's going to make it awful tiny. Oh, what the heck. We'll see how it turns out, right? Go for it. Just go for it. If I don't like it, use the rest of it for something else. Because that's what it's about, right? All right. So I think... Yeah, it's going to make a skinny, skinny pocket, skinny coin envelope, but that's okay. So a little more than half over. And this one's going to be, now this is a heavier, definitely more like a light cardstock kind of paper. Okay. And then... What do I want at the top and what do I want at the bottom? Um, hmm. Hmm. I want this. I guess I'll make that the flap. Okay. So this is going to be the bottom. So I'm going to just fold this up just a little bit. And I'm going to cut these off. Remember, it's the outside edges. You want to keep the center. And this side. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Okay, try cutting it straight. Yeah, well, close enough. And angle these just a little bit. And then we're going to have a flap. It's going to be kind of a short flap. Okay, and again, we're going to cut, just like we cut these outside edges for the bottom flap, we're going to cut the outside edges for the top flap. No fuss, no muss. And I'm going to use my corner rounder. Oops, wrong corner. I can't stand little bits on my desk when I'm working. Decide which flap I want on top. I guess I'll do it that way. Okay, so again, I'm going to do the edge. <laughs> See if we can get the glue out. There it goes. Do that edge. And do this edge. Because this is the one I'm going to fold over. Okay. And stick my bone folder up there. To avoid any glue spreadage inside. Okay. We're gonna, and you can see how once you get going on these, how fast these go. I mean, you could cut them all out at once and then sit in front of TV and glue them, or you can just sit here and whip them out as fast as you want. 
I mean, honest to goodness, they're so quick. Okay, so that's going to make a pretty little envelope. Um, all right, now I need my discs. So let's see. That's just about the right size for that. I'll cut. I think I want them these color, though. These color. <laughs> I think I want them this color. And then I think I'm going to do um, other punch. that I, I don't use this craft cardstock for a whole lot so I don't mind using it for this I'll try and get this centered this time <laughs> yeah oops it's all a visual thing isn't it isn't that why we do this my husband We'll be married 44 years this June. For the first time, I heard him tell somebody the other day, tell a real estate agent, that I'm a visual person. Me, not him. That I have to see things in person to know whether it's something I like or not. And he is so right. I've been saying it for years and years and years. And he finally... I couldn't believe it, but he finally actually said the words. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long 44 years. <laughs> but, you know, there it is. It's, it is what it is. One of, my, one of my sayings, it is what it is. Okay, it's still not centered. How do I do that? It's so frustrating. Okay, anyway. We are going to get that right about there. Methinks. I think because I'm rushing. I'm trying not to not to overthink. I think I'll use these brown ones again. Like I said, now I have a really good reason to go go shopping. Go into Hobby Lobby because they have some trim. By the, on sale by the roll that I really like over in the ribbon section. And all of their punches are on sale. And there's at least one more punch I want to get. I've been going punch buying happy lately. But I love punches so much more than, I, than um, die cuts. Die cuts are just, for me, they're just a lot of work. you got to cut the paper the right size. I have a... Um, cuddle bug which is you know not not a very big one and die cutting machine and I love it. it it's a nice little machine it works well it's I've had it for years and it's all good but um you know you got to cut the paper to the right size for the plate and a punch, I just whip along the edge and then I cut that edge off when I'm done cutting it all out and I go to the next edge. This is going to be tricky. Ow. Ow. I can't see. <laughs> which is the long prong. And which is a short one. I'm missing. That's what you hear snapping. Okay. All right. And then we're going to glue these two little discs on to help hold it. Hold it together. Oop. Help cover it up. Come on, stay there. Okay. I guess I'll eat while I'm out too, since I haven't had breakfast yet this morning. This is my second video. I'm hoping my iPad doesn't quit on me because when it gets so full, um, Video wise, it uses up all the storage space in it. I really need, I need a bigger, better iPad. I need to win the lottery. That's what I need to do. I could help a lot of my family if I won the lottery. 
But anyway. Got to play to win, and I play, but haven't won yet. But I have always believed someday I will win the lottery. Okay, I'm going to stick my bone folder in there and press down this way. I'll tell you, ever since I figured out to use my bone folder for certain things, it sure comes in handy. And this is my small one. I have a long one if I have something longer that needs needs to be put down inside. The other thing you could do with these, if you do like your die cutting machine <laughs> and you have embossing folders, excuse me, you can um, you can emboss these. And I did some pockets, but I don't know where I put them. Um, I'll have to show those in my, my next video because I had them. And I don't know what I did with them. Um, oh, they're not in there. It's too bad because they're really pretty. <laughs> I, just, I, I don't know what I did with them, though. I had them. I, I'll jump up and see if I can find them. But anyhow... Um, I did emboss some of my 24 pound weight paper and oh my goodness the pockets came out pretty so I'll have to show those in my next my next video and the only part with embossing folders even with the 24 pound weight paper um, one of them has little tiny embossed dots on it and it broke through the paper in a couple places but that could have been my fault um, I think I have this, this thought that I have to roll back and forth with the embossing folders and you don't have to die cuts. Yes. Especially like the thin lit dies. Um, I have to roll back and forth, but with the, um, there, isn't that neat? And then these can just be clipped into a journal they can be, um, I don't know where my, where are my signatures for this journal? Uh-oh. Well, that's a little off-putting. I don't know where my signatures are for my journal that I'm working on. Ah! Anyway, um, just to show you, it could be paper clipped. Paper clipped on, um, paper clip marking, find a paper clip. Well, this is a big fancy paper clip, but it could be paper clipped on. Um, it could be glued down to the page. It could be glued down on three sides, and this could be a side pocket. It could be glued down on the bottom and two sides, and it could be a pocket at the top, as well as your pocket here. If you wanted to, you could make a little half circle here. Um, and punch that out too and make it easier to reach in and out to get things in and out so anyway there's the rest of the um, Thai Brad's coin envelope kind of thing and I've had a lot of fun and I hope that you go try this and if you have a YouTube channel um, comment with your YouTube channel and I'll be glad to go see it so you guys have a great day. Take care. Um, happy crafting. And thanks for watching. And see you later next time. Bye-bye.